Officials from Japan's Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, recently paid their second visit to the Department of Energy's Hanford site to explore solutions to aid in the cleanup of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, which was severely damaged by a tsunami, which resulted in a triple meltdown of its reactors. Hanford has long experience uh, in uh, managing and controlling uh, radioactive waste and also the disposal of the radioactive waste. And uh, since there are a lot of insights and experience, and also there's outstanding uh, facilities uh, here at Hanford, and uh, they have been doing an uh, outstanding analysis. So uh, I'm hoping to learn uh, through my experience here. The visit focused on technologies and proven cleanup methods that can be easily and readily applied at the Fukushima site. The department's headquarters has been working with Japan for over a year in a collaborative effort to solve some of the most vexing cleanup challenges at Fukushima. Among the cleanup priorities at Fukushima is contaminated groundwater, which is also one of the top challenges Hanford has been tackling over the years. With input from Hanford cleanup contractors and DOE, TEPCO officials toured the site to see the mechanisms and technology Hanford employs to remediate its contaminated groundwater. Of particular interest to the Japanese delegation was a new Hanford pump and treat facility that has greatly accelerated the effort to treat Hanford's 100 square miles of contaminated groundwater, of which more than 5 billion gallons have already been treated. Other stops on the tour demonstrated Hanford's expertise in on-site waste disposal, facility decontamination, and reactor disposition.